DaVinci Resolve 11 includes over 70 new editing features, so now you can edit, grade, and finish all on one system. The edit page has a full multi-track timeline and viewers for both your source clips and program. At the top left is the browser, which contains two default bins, one for timelines and one for the media pool, which is where you'll find all of the footage in your project. You can create and nest bins in the media pool to help keep your footage organized. Double-clicking a clip loads it into the viewer, where you can mark in and out points using the I and O keys. To make a basic edit, drag and drop the clip into the timeline or the timeline viewer, where you can use the edit overlay to select the type of edit you want. Three-point edits are just as easy. To fit a new clip in this gap, we'll use the X key to mark our in and out points, load a new clip into the viewer, mark an out point, which is where we want this clip to end, and edit it in using the overwrite button. In Resolve 11, you can now create split edits. Simply right-click in the scrub area of the viewer to mark separate audio and video in or out points. To place this clip on different audio and video tracks, Drag the track targets on the left side of the timeline and then edit the clip in, or use the appropriate keyboard shortcut. Trimming in 11 is context sensitive. You can perform different types of trims like ripples, rolls, slips, or slides based on where you click, so you don't have to keep changing tools. And when you slip or slide, new 4-up displays show you everything you need to see to make confident edit decisions. Rippling a clip moves everything in the timeline as you drag, and turning off auto-select for a particular track lets you exclude tracks so you can ripple on one track without moving the others. The Roll tool is extremely flexible and works in both trim mode and selection mode. Simply drag any edit point to start rolling. Hold down the Option key and you can create split edits by rolling the video or audio separately. Trimming in DaVinci Resolve can also be performed using the keyboard. To select the nearest edit point, press the V key. To select the nearest clip, press Shift V. The T key takes you into trim mode, where you can nudge the edit a frame at a time using the comma and period keys, or in 10 frame increments by also pressing Shift. To roll an edit, press V again, or if you only want to select one side of the edit, Press U. Type absolute or relative timecode values for more precise trimming. Resolve 11 also introduces dynamic trimming, done by holding down the command key and pressing JKL to trim during playback. Dynamic trimming works for every type of trim operation. You can even press Shift V to select the entire clip, then hold Command and L or J down together to dynamically slip or slide. To select only half of a clip, hit Option U to toggle between video only and audio only. This also works for editing points, making it easy to select exactly which parts of the clip you want to trim. As you work, you can use the forward slash key to play around an edit point while trimming to see how everything looks. Command click different edit points on different tracks to make a selection for asymmetric trimming, to trim multiple clips in different directions at the same time. When you're ready to add transitions, simply right-click any edit point to add the default transition and choose its duration from the contextual menu. Double-clicking a dissolve will open the inspector at the top right of the screen, where you can make adjustments to duration, alignment, and other parameters. The toolbox contains a complete library of transitions, generators, titling tools, and third-party OpenFX plugins. To add an audio crossfade, just add it from the toolbox to the clips in the timeline. For individual audio clips, pull in the fade handles to fade in or out. The inspector automatically updates when another item is selected. Here you can see a clip's composite mode, transform, cropping, retiming, and scaling parameters. To animate an effect, simply click the keyframe button, set a value, move the playhead, and repeat. DaVinci Resolve is so fast, everything you animate plays in real time. To adjust the timing of your animation, just open the keyframe track in the timeline and drag them. For even finer control, click the spline icon to open the curve editor, 
where you can change interpolation and adjust the curve using its Bezier handles. To change the speed of a clip, right-click it in the timeline and select Change Clip Speed. Enter the amount, set your options, and you're done. Or, you can use the Retime controls, which provide a pop-up that lets you add speed points with which you can create different kinds of speed ramps. The toolbox also has text generators with rich text styling controls, the ability to create a background or drop shadow, and transform and compositing controls so you can create great looking titles and lower thirds quickly and easily. DaVinci Resolve 11 combines state-of-the-art non-linear editing with the world's most advanced color grading software in a complete system for managing media, editing, grading, finishing, and delivery.